So at this point, you have invited the Prophet ﷺ to your house. He knows your name. He jokes with you, alayhi salatu wasalam. And he had a way, sallallahu alayhi wasalam, of making you feel like you were the most beloved person to him, even if there were many people that were ahead of you on the list. And that was from his mercy, sallallahu alayhi wasalam. And so it was easy for you to think that the Prophet ﷺ was your best friend. And that was due to his good character, alayhi salatu wasalam. And how many ahadith do you find of personal nasihas? that the Prophet ﷺ gave to people, personal advice, right? A companion whose name you might not have ever heard before, but you hear it in the capacity of the Prophet ﷺ giving personal advice to people. And how many times do you find the Prophet ﷺ turning towards someone and giving them very involved advice that makes its way into the books of Ahadith and becomes a guide for us on how to live as well. So the Prophet ﷺ gave personal attention to people. He gave personal advice to people. He also liked to exchange gifts with people ﷺ. At Rubai'ah, she says that I brought the Prophet ﷺ a tray of dates and some small cucumbers. Prophet ﷺ used to like cucumbers. And the Prophet ﷺ gifted me in return a handful of jewelry. ﷺ. And that's why Aisha says that. The Prophet ﷺ, if someone gave him a gift, he wanted to gift that person as well. And you can imagine how many people would go to the Prophet ﷺ and give him a gift. And the Prophet ﷺ would make note of that and he'd want to gift that person immediately in return, or he would gift them at some later point ﷺ. So now we're in a place where I have personal conversations with him ﷺ. He is joking with me ﷺ. Jarir ibn Abdullah radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he says, I never saw the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa except that he was smiling at me. So you see the difference here, that it's not just that the Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa was always smiling. No, like he always smiled at me. I felt his warmth sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And on top of that, we are exchanging gifts as well. The Prophet sallallahu alayhi wa sallam takes gifts from me. He gives me gifts. And that's something that's special, right? And so you have this really beautiful narration from Amr ibn al-As anhu. The same Amr anhu who waged war on the Prophet ﷺ for all of those years, who tried to take back the refugees in Habasha and Abyssinia, convince a Najashi to give them up, who persecuted the Prophet ﷺ in Mecca, who fought against the Prophet ﷺ in numerous battles, who in Uhud was actually one of the main engineers of that plot in Uhud that led to the deaths of many people. But he embraced Islam and he became a beloved companion of the Prophet Sallallahu And you imagine that the Prophet Sallallahu treated him in such a way that he thought that he might now be the best friend of the Prophet Sallallahu And he narrates this by giving us the full picture. He says that the Prophet Sallallahu he used to speak to and show love and affection to Ashar al qawm to the worst person of a people, to where they would think they are Ashraf al qawm They would think they're the best people, right? Because the Prophet ﷺ gave them so much love and attention. And he says this was a form of ta'lif, a form of bringing hearts together that the Prophet ﷺ employed as part of his mannerisms. And so he would give me this attention and he would speak to me in the special way. And he showed me such love that I started to think that maybe I'm the Prophet ﷺ's best friend. So one day I went to the Prophet ﷺ, and another hadith, by the way, he explains that the Prophet ﷺ, you know, put him at the head of an army. So this is serious now, right? Like I'm up there with the rest of them. So he said, I went to the Prophet ﷺ one day in front of the people, and I said, Ya Rasulullah, ayyu nasi ahabu ilayk, O Messenger of Allah, who is the most beloved of people to you? So you can imagine the scene, right? Amr radiallahu anhu is looking out to the people. Ya Rasulullah, go ahead and tell them, who's the most beloved person to you? The Prophet ﷺ doesn't lie. Rasulullah ﷺ said, Aisha radiallahu ta'ala anha. And Amr ibn As radiallahu anhu says, no, 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 min rijal I mean from the men, because it was weird, right? I mean, that's one of those things like kissing your kids in public. What do you mean? You love your wife more than everybody else. And the Prophet ﷺ says, well, Abuha, her father. I'm being honest, right? And he didn't say Abu Bakr, radiallahu ta'ala anhu, he said Abuha, her father, who of course is Abu Bakr, but it's like the Prophet is still connecting the love that he has for Abu Bakr to the love he has for Aisha. So I love Aisha, and then you ask me from who from the men? Well, it's Abu Bakr. And then he says, okay, then who? Because it's understood, right? You know, 
Prophet in Abu Bakr radiallahu anhu, Abu Bakr was the first uh, from the men to embrace Islam, the best friend of the Prophet Okay, that makes sense. Then who, Ya Rasulullah? He said, Umar <laughs> radiallahu ta'ala anhu. And Amr al-As radiallahu anhu says, okay, fine. You know, the, the two shaykhs, it was known, right? The Prophet used to say, I, Abu Bakr and Umar all the time. I, Abu Bakr and Umar did this. I, Abu Bakr and Umar saw this. I, Abu Bakr and Umar agree with this. So he said, fine, who else after Umar? Who's next? So the Prophet said, Uthman. So he said, I didn't want to ask the Prophet anything else. And I felt horrible for even asking him because I was afraid he'd never mentioned my name Now, of course, the Prophet did not want to make him feel that way. But the point was, is that the Prophet had made him feel such a way that he felt like he could ask the Prophet that question and he would be his best friend. He would be the most beloved person in the world to him. And can you imagine how many people that did not used to assign value to themselves, that did not used to think highly of themselves, that did not think they had access to anyone, that the Prophet ﷺ made feel like they were the most beloved and most important people to him in the world ﷺ, as he certainly was to them.